Animal Crossing has become a chore for you, it feels, for lack of better terms. I mean, I get that feeling. You know, it's kind of sad. I Because I do keep an eye on what people say, like, in chat and in the community and um, on the Discord and stuff. And I feel like a lot of people are kind of feeling that burnout. I think a lot of people are legitimately burnt out from it. And that's understandable. You know, people have sunk in hundreds of hours at times on this game. And it's a game that's really easy to do that. But remember, you don't have to get everything done right away. And you might want to take a break for a little bit and come back in, you know, a month or something. But, like, I know I've seen that that kind of general sentiment. And, um, you know, that's... That's understandable. I'm kind of feeling it myself. I still have a lot of ideas, but I feel like only having, you know, two hours to get them done isn't always, like, the best. And also, when I have people watching, I feel like the things I want to get done are just different, you know? Like, I have all this stuff, all this stuff that I want to do, all these ideas, but... It's always like, oh, but if I'm on stream, I want to I wanna check this. I want to talk to this person and that person. Whereas I feel like it, it'd just be different. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think that's uh, something very important to remember. You know, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to check in every now and then. It doesn't seem like villagers move out on their own now, right? Yeah, listen to this. L listen to what Isabel has to say with that face of hers. Uh, it's only Tuesday, so be sure to pace yourselves. Don't overdo it. That's what Animal Crossing's about. It's about, you know, pacing yourself. Um, I think that's nice. That's nice. So I think we'll, we'll try to, like, wind it back a little bit. It seems like pretty much everyone here is on board with that. Um, that kind of mindset. And, you know, if, if you are, I think that's totally fine. If you're not, I also think that's fine. Yeah, that's a very good point, Trick and Tiger. The game doesn't punish you for not being able to play daily. Very true. You know, like, it's not like you have to really worry much about weeds and flowers dying. Flowers don't die if you don't water them. Uh, villagers don't seem to move out very often at all, which I think is actually part of the problem. Because, from what I heard, it, it takes like 15 days or something before they want to ask to move out again. How's it going, kid? Uh, let's chat. But, you know what? It's always something you can pick up and play a little bit of. It's something I will continue to do. I was wondering, what who was that? But it oh, just, what the heck? Okay, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know, Sydney. Uh, Shari is looking pretty dapper. Look at her. Makes you feel like you're a fake fan. Wait, what? No, I, I honestly don't think that's, that's a thing. I think it's important to remember, games should be fun, all right? And you can enjoy a game and love it, but want to put it away for a bit or just want to stop playing for a while. That's fine. Like, I, you know, I, a lot of you may have remembered, uh, you know, earlier on throughout this series, I was playing a lot of Skyrim just as, like, a game I could play when I didn't have anything else going on. I haven't really played it in a while because I, I got, like, super powerful on, like, level 57 or 58. I just destroy everything. And that, that's fun, but, like, there's the main quest, which I've already done before, so I'm not quite as excited to do it. There's the, uh, you know, a few other quests here and there, but it's just like... At first, I felt a little bad, because it's like, man, I really feel like I should at least, you know, see this through to the end and keep going. And it's like, you know what? It's totally fine. I can just take a break. Oh, come on. I can, uh... I can take a break. And I can just leave it at that. It's fine. If something else I want to do with my time, I can do that and not feel guilty about it. Um, all right. Turnips. That's right. You know what? I did not check my turnip prices this morning. I think they were 90 yesterday afternoon. So I'm going to hope we can extrapolate the, uh, the price 
for the trend right now. Let's see another Skyrim stream. Yeah, I don't know. I again, I kind of got burned out from Skyrim a bit. I think we have enough on the menu that that's not necessarily what I want to work on. Oh, look at that jukebox. Oh, that thing looks sick. Oh, it's only 5,600 bells. All right, so what are the turnip prices? 65, so it's definitely a roller coaster. There's no way it would have went from 90 to 65. It's just not a thing. Um, this looks really fancy. Antique, uh, what was it? Antique console table? And then what's this thing? Upright vacuum, it's very pink. Yeah, Stardew Valley, that's another one. I don't know, there's all these games I want to play. I really need to get some of them done. Well, soon. Soon. I'm kind of wondering if I should take, like, a little bit of time off for just everything. Just, like, get back into the, the zone. You know? Because my current plan with YouTube, I've talked about this for a little bit. My current plan with YouTube is I'm going to record all of the Sword and Shield videos. And... Then I'm going to post them basically all at once. Oh, this would be really good on... Oh, I guess we don't have Sterling anymore. Uh, I'm going to post them all at once. Because I don't like the series. I kind of regard it as a failed series. It is what it is, but I'll at least try to finish it. Um, and then there's one more Mystery Dungeon video I want to make. And I want to call it Odds and Ends. Well, there's actually not anything I need here. I want to call it odds and ends, and it's just like, you know, a few little things here and there. So I'd like to stream some Mystery Dungeon 2. I think that would be kind of nice. Just chill, going through some dungeons, going on some rescue missions, uh, getting the things I need for that video. I just need to have a good way to record that. But that's honestly all I have planned for YouTube. I'm going to take a big break from that, maybe even for good. It just hasn't, hasn't excited me in years uh so it's fine you know what not everyone can adapt not every creator can continue i'm still gonna be fine but i'd rather focus on things that i want to do as opposed to things that people want me to do that aren't really working i think that's all right how's it going quizzical welcome so i think our Hello period is now back on track. I think uh, I think this, this little eight minute section works. All right, so I don't really need any Cosmos. So that's why I'm leaving them over here. Uh, let's see. I do want to get these flowers sorted out though. But honestly, I don't know if that's something I even want to bother with on stream because it's kind of boring. But I would like to move Xerneas out of the way. Oh, right, I need to get my shovel. Thankfully, I have some shovels. I love how this looks, though. This looks so nice. So nice. Oh, let's, uh, let's check the mail really fast. Too shabby. KK Disco and Shari. What's up, Devin? I was all psyched up to send you a letter, so I grabbed a pen and some paper sat down and right away forgot what I was going to write you about. I'll write again if I remember. So hang tight until then, okay? Shari. Silly Shari. 100% behind doing what makes you happy rather than try to meet some ambiguous expectations. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I can look at it. I can look at Mystery Dungeon. You know, I, I feel bad. I should probably tell you like a little candid story, okay? Um, I don't want you to take it the wrong way or the bad way. I'm just going to be like really honest about it. So, um, to go in Ogremart. So, well, first let me, let me see how KK Disco is. Oh yeah, this is a good one. I like this. Actually leave this on for a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk, um, something that I, I actually changed. So, in... 
was it? It was... You know what? I'll see if I can customize the jukebox. So it was in the Wish Cave episode. It was like a four-hour video, right? So I, I made a... Uh... Oh, I can't. Darn it. <laughs> That's a shame. Ooh, you know what? I bet you this antique table would look really good in here, though. Here I go! Woo, 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 woo! Topic to topic to topic. Um... Oh, you know what? That would probably look even better than this, wouldn't it? Let's try this out. I bet that'd look really nice. Okay, so Wish Cave, four hour video. I decided to release a, a short version of that, right? And apply, no, actually this was for Silver Trench. So it was originally like a two hour video but I had to speed up a bunch of it in the middle. And I, I managed to fit that in for like, I don't know, an hour or something, 50 minutes. But here's the thing. I ended up redoing the post commentary with that. So originally for that, I you know, I started talking fairly tame. And then I, I just cut, I started talking about like, you know, just how, you know, things have gone on like YouTube and I felt like, oh, that looks, that looks much nicer. Uh, maybe actually, I don't know how it's going to look having this tea pot like over the edge. Is that, that looks a little dangerous if you ask me. But I bet you the jukebox will look really good in here. That'd be better than this, wouldn't it? What song is this? What song is this? I'm kinda interrupting myself anyway. Let me get this sorted out. So this is Steep Hill. Man, I feel like the jukebox would look perfect in here. I just don't know where I want it. Hold on. Did I put it away? I didn't. See, look at that. Doesn't. Ooh. Oh, that has a much nicer sound. I could put it in the corner where that pot is, but then I don't have anywhere for the tea kettle. Also, that would block any of the posters. So that's something I need to consider. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it where it was. This jukebox is really nice, though. All right, uh, anyway, anyway. Let's go back to the topic at hand. So I was kind of talking about, you know, YouTube and all that kind of stuff, and uh, I ended up removing that bit. I ended up just re-recording it because I felt like it was really negative, but I guess I'll, I'll kind of share what I was thinking um, during that. And for Mystery Dungeon, like it was, it was a good series. Like I'm actually proud of it. I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I can't believe that I basically 100%ed it too, which is nuts, really nuts. And I did it pretty much daily. But here's the thing. That's unsustainable. That's that's not something I can keep doing. And at the same time, it's something that's like, it, it isn't really, it's, you know, unfortunately, because my channel is such an old channel, people that subscribe way back, way back, you know, they're no longer even checking YouTube. Like, that's just the reality, so. Despite having, you know, 408,000 subscribers, the reality is only about 2,000 actually watch the videos. Um, and, you know, th that's fine. I mean, that's how it is. But YouTube, it kind of, I think, like from what I've gathered in its, uh, how's it going, Yanni? 
in its algorithms and stuff like that, it does keep an eye on, you know, how, uh, how many, ooh, that looks nice. Like, percentage of subscribers actually watch your video. And I think as a result, it doesn't like push it out. And, you know, the content I've made has changed a lot over the years as well. It's just, for all intents and purposes, it is kind of just, like, there's no bringing the channel back. So with Mystery Dungeon, I gave it my all with that. I mean, it was a daily series. It was updated constantly. Um, you know, I, I really put in a lot of work with, like, editing and voices and stuff like that. That's something I can't keep doing for every series. Like, there's just not enough Pokemon games out there. And, you know, it really shouldn't be about the money. But it's if it's not something that I enjoy that much, I'm not going to do it just to do it. It's no longer really a job. It's a hobby. And if it's a hobby, I'm not even really enjoying that much. And if not even a lot of people are able to see it, it's just like, I don't know. So it's fine. I can, I can just... I gave it a go. You know, it would have been different if before that, because I was actually this close to to uh, like just quitting altogether before Mystery Dungeon, just saying, you know what, I'm done. And I watched a video by Josh Jepson actually, who he kind of was going through some similar stuff. You know, he wants to do more, but he keeps going through kind of the same algorithmic changes, and he tries different things for his channel too, and. It's a really good episode. It was his Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Part 5 or 15? One of them. And it was, uh, I don't know, it was just interesting. Also, how's it going, Light Papyrus? I need to ignore you there. Just kind of talking. So, I was this close, and then I watched that. And then I wasn't going to do Mystery Dungeon, but I, I started it up. I got... Mudkip, and it, it just took me back to, you know, my first adventure through, and I wanted to tell that story, and I'm really glad that I did. I'm really glad that I did. But, you know, that's that's it, essentially. Um, I don't really, like, there's not that much more to do, and I, I don't know. I, I just, I feel like it's, if I just would have, stopped and not have seen what would have happened if I uploaded every day. You know, there'd always be that question of, hey, you know what? Maybe it wasn't the channel's fault. Maybe it was, you know, my fault by not giving it 100%, by not, you know, really doing everything I could. And I did give it 100% with Mystery Dungeon. And I'm proud of the series. I think the people that watched it enjoyed it. But the reality is, you know, it's... It's not enough to bring the channel back. It's not enough to bring it back to life. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, and that's why I think now is a fine time to, to kind of step away from the YouTube grind, if you will. I think that's bad. I think it would have been bad if I didn't give it a try, you know? I didn't see if I could turn it around. How's it going, Maddie Goody? And Ron, how you doing? And, you know, the kind of sad part is, like, it's bittersweet. Because I'm really happy that Chugga Conroy's doing Mystery Dungeon DX as well. But at the same time, it's like, well, it'll probably completely obsolete my series. You know? It won't be the definitive one. Like, Super Mystery Dungeon... Ace Infinity, they both did fantastic for my channel. Um, but I I don't think this one will be the same. Because there's another really good series. I mean, I still like mine. I think it has a lot of personality to it. And I think comparing, you know, to someone else's series is a, a bad, bad thing. Like, don't do that if you're a creator very dangerous it's very it's an unhealthy mentality um and i don't i don't like i'm not at all trying to be like oh well you know uh hopefully it's not coming across that way like i said i'm i'm really excited to see him play that um yeah there we go some glasses 
So are you going to quit YouTube? I don't know, probably. Or at least take a break. I don't ever want to say the word quit because then people are like, Oh, well, you said you're quitting, but you made this video, but you said all this time ago you're quitting. Like, I got that so much with doing, you know, after the Omega Ruby weblock, that whole trash fiasco, you know, where I said I'm not doing it ever again, and then I do it again. People, like, for years after that, they're like, but you said you weren't going to do it. So people, if they say something, they're never able to change. They're never able to you know, go back on it or change their mind? Like, wow, people. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I never got my shovel, by the way. I got distracted. So that's why I I don't like to give plans or like say this is what I'm gonna do because then people hold me to it and they're like, but you said you were gonna do this. Don't do that. Don't do that to your favorite creators. Like, please, please don't. Are we moving Xerneas and putting a path down today? I want to at least move Xerneas. I don't know if I'm going to put a path down. Uh, yeah, I have both of these. Right, what's the music? Oh, yeah. No, comparing my series and Chugga series, like, it is... You are right. It is apples and oranges. And it's something that I'm really glad that he's doing. Um... Because any way you look at it, it's a great game. And he's a great personality for it. And it's really cool. My main thing, it's not so much comparing. It's just the fact that it it has the definite potential to suck a lot of the air out of any traction I could get for the series, you know? Like with Super Mystery Dungeon and Gates of Infinity, I feel like people didn't really cover it that well back then. And... Because I did, I, I had a lot going for it. Um, like, they still get tons of views. And again, you know... Wait, what was that? Oh, never mind. It looked brown as it was jumping. It was kind of weird. What's the best platform that I can follow to watch your latest stuff? Uh, well, what are you talking about latest stuff? Like, for Twitch stuff? Or YouTube stuff? Because... If you want to watch YouTube stuff, I would recommend uh, I'd recommend following or uh, subscribing to me on YouTube. If you want to see me stream, which is probably what I'm going to be doing after Sword and Shield wraps up, then I'd recommend either I have a Maryland Stream Archives YouTube channel, which I it's really behind, or just following me on Twitch. There's also a Discord if you're looking for notifications for when I go live. You can disable if you just want to like chat with the community. But that's another uh, another place. Um, I was gonna do something, and it was check the map. I want to see if red not in town. That's kind of weird. So someone's probably wandering around. Seems like there's always something every day. Uh oh, someone's got fleas. And it's Apple. There we go. <laughs> Grody. My bestie schmoopy. Anyway, I'm sorry if I'm getting like kind of negative or whatever. I I just think it's important. Um, I kind of vent. Just let it out. Like, I know it'll. It will upset people, but I feel like enough people don't really care at this point. That's fine. Would I be using Twitch more than Facebook or YouTube? Yeah. I don't really use Facebook now. And I'm probably not going to be uploading to my main YouTube channel after Sword and Shield is done. And it's not even going to... I'm just going to dump all the videos and then leave. Well, after I get part 60 mystery dungeon up. I want to get that up, but that's going to require some streaming. Like, there's so much grind for it. So much grind. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun, but it's not like I can do that, you know, the next day. That's why I kind of want to do some streaming of that. And 
kind of want to work on my website again. Like, that's honestly... I, I feel really motivated for that. That was what I started with. I mean, any way you look at it, I started my website back in the year 2000. 2000! And, you know, it's gone through so much over time. But that was my original passion. I love just sitting back and writing code and writing guides and tweaking this and doing this and working on this thing and that thing and you know it's it is something I I did enjoy and I I look forward to doing so that'll kind of be a big oh he's working again he's working he also set down his board game look at him go uh all right what are you working on? Tulip wreath? Oh, I think I have that, don't I? Oh, no, I guess I don't. I have another wreath. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the tulip crown. I bet you that is, that's what it is. But I do like the idea of just playing on Twitch. Because I don't really have any ambition to be like... Uh popular Twitch streamer. I don't really want it to be my career. I don't want it to be, you know, something I, I take seriously. I just want to, like, play when I feel like it. Like, it's been really nice just streaming Animal Crossing on kind of like a daily schedule, but not like a, oh, it's at this time, at exactly this time, etc. Um, no. Like, I know it's convenient for people, but, man, I just, I love that flexibility. It's just like, oh, you know what? I had stuff going on today. I'm starting later. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, so, yeah, I, I like that, that attitude. Just play if I feel like it. Man, I had a dream I got black roses. I just now remember that as I'm looking at this. I should really start moving some of these roses over to the flower bed. What's my inventory doing? I got four fossils. Maybe I could turn in some fossils. It's probably enough to turn in. Keep having Animal Crossing dreams. Oh, man. Yeah, so that'll probably be how it, uh, how it goes in the future, you know? Just stream if there's, like, hey, I just want to play a game and just chill. Not make it, like, a big event. Not make it, like, you know, a big thing. Oh, my gosh, Sydney, don't get off me like that. Come on. And I like that. I think that's, uh, that's the right way to do things, in my opinion. I mean, you know, if people want to turn it into a career. Hey, great. You know what? Go for it. That's fine. All the power to you. But I don't. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, you're sick. Oh, I can't shake these chills. If only I kept some cold medicine around here. Oh, let's go get her some medicine. Oh, she's feeling under the weather. Oh, we gotta go fix her up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It'll really be nice to have these pads laid down. Like, everything's kind of coming together a bit better. You know, like, I feel like it's a little easier to navigate. Worst thing is finding a villager sick. I'm glad they get sick, though. I really miss that from New Leaf. Like, they took it out after a while. I, I like caring for my villagers. You know, if they're sick, it's like, I just, I really want to rush over and save them. want to help them get better, you know? It's motivating. It's really motivating. It's like, oh no, my precious, I'll save you. Don't worry. Don't worry. And I like how they get better, like, pretty much instantly. Like, I think that's fine.
I'm glad they brought it back like this. Oh no, here, I have medicine for you. Oh, don't sneeze on me. Whew. That should really help. See, I feel like I'm already starting to recover from that cold. You helped me out, so in return, I'd like to thank you by giving you a retro gas pump. Um. All right. I'm really grateful. I'm glad you're grateful, but. <laughs> Here, you know what? Thanks for helping me get better. Have this retro gas pump. Because, you know, that wasn't making me sick at all. I mean, I already even have one of those. It's just such a strange thing. Uh, yeah, that's stitches. Wait, have we seen Lucha? Yeah, Lucha's home. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, what's going on? Yes, I'm glad you came to visit. Chat. What, ever, what never goes out of style? Classic stuff. Kind of like the outfit you got on right now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like to get real weird with fashion. Classic stuff is classic for a reason. I guess this is classic. Hey, do you want this, uh, this gas pump? I feel like he might like it. I don't know why, but... Or I could give him this plain cap. You know what? Nah, I want to give him the gas pump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this really a retro gas pump? You can just feel the quality in this thing. I wish everything was made out of whatever it's made out of. All right. 177 bells. Nice. I'm glad you like, uh, Derposaurus Rex. Glad you like the island, Dandy Man. Yeah, we still have some work to go on it, but it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, let's donate some fossils. Well, let's assess them. Realistically, I'm probably not going to be able to, uh... Oh, the stamp stations change. Well, the prizes remain the same. Do I need any more than one? I don't know if I need any more than one, though. It's kind of nice. I like that they let you grind it if you want. All right. Uh, yeah, we already have all these. Not surprised. I think I only need one. I Sarah skull. Oh, isn't that just? It's great. Wait, left Quetzal wing. I think I needed the left Quetzal wing. Woo! Can I get evil tall over here, or at least fake evil tall? The purpose is to let you see what each of the uh, stations can say. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that's fine. Like, if you want to grind it and get more of those plaques for whatever reason, cool. I don't care enough for it, but I like the fact, I appreciate the fact that they respect you by giving you the choice to, and not having it be, like, really good rewards really even worth grinding. It's just like, oh yeah, if you want to, sure. Wait, where am I going? Um, oh yeah. Fossils. Let's see if I can get Evil Tall here. Dude, this is good. <laughs> that was a good buy right there. Alright, uh, Fossils. All right, I'm pretty sure I needed the Quetzal thing. I think I have, look at all the spare Triceratops skulls. I have four, five spare Triceratops skulls because I have one in my inventory. That's kind of frustrating. Oh, baby, look at this beast. This thing's gonna be sick. 
Oh, I could set up a few mammoths, too. Wait, Mega Zero. Didn't I get the... Oh, I got another torso. Archaeoteryx. I don't think that's that good. Yeah, I should probably sell some of these that I have, like, a lot of. Sick, I do have the Quetzal. True, that's a good point, Kurorisu. You could get these for friends to pick the game up later, or, in your case, you know, someone who, uh... Oh, really? How did I miss that? Like, it was right there. I think I missed it because... No, I didn't miss it. I saw it. I just... I didn't have my shovel because it broke. Like the waterfall symmetry by my house? Yeah. I... I really like the house area. Oh, whoops. Oh, dang, this thing looks cool. Not quite evil tall, though. But I do like that thing. We could call this thing Ridley. Kind of looks like Ridley, actually. I haven't really played Metroid, so I don't know much about Ridley. I like the look of that a lot. Can I interact with it? I don't think so. Let's go say hi to Chief and Becky. You know what? I haven't said hi to either of them today. It's like Chief's home. What's going on, bud? That earth movement I did. Oh, now he's saying my dear, too. Like, literally everyone is saying my dear. You know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, that period where, like, you know, everyone was saying my dude in, like, everything. Like, I mean, they still say it now, but I feel like that just kind of picked up throughout, like, culture at some point in time. And here we are. Like, whoever started my dude, you know, now it's basically the same thing here, except with my deer. You know? This is very much the same energy. <laughs> oh, alright. I mean, that's fine. It's just kind of silly. Have I ever thought about doing a sleep lock without the lock? Just a casual hangout thing. Um, probably not. Honestly, I don't really like the idea of staying up that late anymore. Wait, oh yeah, I moved Becky. That's right, she's no longer over there. Like, it's kind of exhausting. And even at that, like, there's always the, the possibility of things like, what is it, like a subathon or a sellout stream or whatever, you know, those kind of things where, like, you add to the time of the stream based on, uh, uh, exterior decorating. Yeah, I did. Where, you know, like, as people sub or as they cheer, you know, it, it adds to the time of the stream, which, you know, it's kind of nice for a fundraiser type thing. I don't know. It could be interesting to do that, like, once a month. But at the same time, I don't really know how I feel about, you know, trying to squeeze money out of you all. You're not a resource to me. We're a community. Oh, there goes the music. But it could still be an interesting way of doing things. Like long streams. It's just about staying healthy, though. That's the problem. I'm just do an all-day marathon if I have time. Yeah, but like, you know, if I just do that, that's a big investment of time and energy, you know? Like, it takes a lot. First of all, you have to, like, mentally prepare for it. Second of all, you have to physically prepare for it. 
Third of all, you go through a lot of physical strain afterwards. Like, thankfully, I am capable of doing 30 hour streams. Like, I can do that. I don't really want to, but I am very grateful that I'm able to. Like, not everyone can. Always know your limit. That's like super, super important. What is this? Animal City! Oh, that's so nice! I really like that. But yeah, I mean, I guess since my limit is higher, like, I can do it, but it, it's still, it is very draining. So it's not something I'd want to just do. Um... really like subathons because of the strain they put on the streamer. They only really work with streams with more than one host. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I think a lot of it depends on the streamer, too. Like, if it's entertaining for people, that's fine. Um, and if it's, like, worth their while, I think that's kind of the thing. Like, you know, not to, not to, whoops, not to be, like, super sellout mode extreme, but, you know, I feel like what helps justify those subathons is, you know, the fact that, yeah, whoever's holding them, you know, they are putting in a lot of time. A lot of, um, spinal tip, no need. Um, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy. And, you know, depending on how much they make, it can be worthwhile. Like, you know, any way you look at it, sometimes it can be effective kind of trying to do a lot all at once and then have the rest of the month. Like, I actually considered that at one point. Like, okay, I'm gonna cut back on streams other than one day a month and we're just gonna, like, go crazy then. And that would be kind of an interesting approach. Or, you know, do, like, a lot less streams. I don't know, it was, it was an idea that I thought about. I didn't end up didn't end up going with it, but I definitely ended up considering it. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think, uh, like for instance, let's say, let's say I did a subathon, right? Or any kind of like cheering thing. It's not specifically subs. Commonons will say that. But, um, you know, if it, if it went for, like, 20 hours, what would be the, the amount that would make that worthwhile? You know, if that makes sense. Like, from a, all right, you know, this, this was, this was a good worthwhile amount of time. Like, it, it wasn't, like, it was exhausting, but it, it made up for it. Stuff. Kind of thing. I, I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. The problem is they oftentimes do get a belt. I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh, it is! No, it isn't. Ah! Oh, hey. Alright, well, I mean, we'll just set this thing here for now. I think that's kind of cool. Wow, man, I love that thing. That thing just looks really cool. I'd like a more permanent spot for it, but for right now, that'll do. Oh, you know what? Let me, uh, let me check on the beach. Let's see if I can find the message in a bottle. I always forget about that every day. Because <laughs> getting to my beaches is really a pain, dude, all the jail bars. Uh, dear muscular stranger, I was figuring what kind of protein shake I wanted for lunch. I had this awesome DIY idea. I got so excited I couldn't even work out. So I wrote this letter. I really super hope you use it. It's Bill! A pear bed. Ooh. Remember Bill? He stopped by here a little bit ago. It's just a big pear. That's kind of cool. I like that. But 
put your input into it. You're not the biggest fan of daily streams. Feel like it loses their magic, for lacking of a term. That's totally fair. I'll be honest, too. I'm not personally the biggest fan of them, either. I like to watch them, but when it comes to actually doing them, I've made no secret of the fact that I, I'm pretty introverted. So doing daily streams does... It kind of gnaws at me a little bit. Not in a bad way, but... Well, in a little bit of a bad way. I find that having, like, a day off or two days off from it where I can just, like, decompress is super helpful. Okay, let's move some of these flowers for right now. Cousin's a tiny streamer, did a 24-hour charity stream, kept up with him over Discord, made next to nothing for the charity, but we enjoyed ourselves, so it was a win. Oh, that's good. Honestly, like, as long as you have fun with things, that's fine. I just hope it doesn't get, you know, your cousin down. I think still doing it for the right reason. See, this is another thing with doing charity streams. If you're, uh... Oh, wow. Listen to him go. I haven't heard him sing very often. Um... I'm just gonna move that, but I can't now. So, if you are, you know, a, a smaller streamer, I, I don't like using the term. I think it can sometimes, you know, demean. It's like, no, everyone's cool, like, you know. But, you know, stat-wise, traffic-wise, that's, you know, where you, you lump yourself into. You can still do a world of good for a charity, even if you don't make a lot of money with the donations. Again, just by promoting the charity or talking about it and having it out there, like doing stuff about, or, you know, doing a stream, like if it was a 24-hour charity stream, even if people didn't donate, they still were thinking about the charity. It was still there. It was still present. He was thrilled we made a dollar, much less the $45 he raised. And that's really good. That's really good. I mean, yeah, I, I see your point. If you kind of divide that by like 24 hours, then yeah, it doesn't work out to a lot, but that's still, that's a substantial amount, especially for, you know, someone who who doesn't have as wide of an audience. That's That's great. I'd say that's wonderful. But what's most wonderful is you enjoyed yourselves. So that, in my opinion, that is the win. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and work on some of these paths really quick. Cause this is getting a little messy here. All right, I need to move this. Move these as well. I'd like to set up some kind of like a stage right here. Although I don't know. We could leave just a giant flower garden. Wait, was that Fred? Oh, there's Fred over there. Let's go say, uh, kind of Fred. Yeah, part of me thinks it'd be kind of neat to do charity stream, but I honestly, I feel more like, uh, more like helping out with the bigger ones. Like, unfortunately, like I'm doing okay. Again, I don't, I don't like to talk much about finances. I'm generally all right, but you know, I don't feel like I'm quite yet at the point where I can just be like, oh yeah, I don't need all this extra money. I don't, I don't need, you know, this or that. I'd like to be to that point. I would, but I want to get there first before I start like, you know, doing much else. Cause I do still donate a lot to charity every year. At least a fair amount. I guess everyone has different definitions. Um, thanks so much, Shripa, for the 100 bits, saying friendly reminder that you're doing amazing, Devin. We're very proud of you and the effort and time you're putting into these streams and YouTube content. Also, a reminder, chat, to go grab some water if you hadn't had any to drink recently. Oh, yes, yeah, stay hydrated, Shripa. Where did the Fred joke come from? Man, that one goes back. Hey, how's it going, Taco King? So, this is like within the first few days of Animal Crossing. 
you know, there is a present floating by, and we're just like, so where do you think that comes from? Well, clearly it's coming from Fred from accounting. Because this is kind of like when the lockdown was starting. So, you know, it's like he's cooped up in this office and he's just sending everything he can think of out the window. It's like, why are you doing this? So, I don't know, that, that kind of inside joke just, it's stuck from there. We've always just, uh, we've just kept at it. It's been really fun. Because I think a lot of people just, they like seeing what they get from Fred, you know, just, it's, it's so silly, but I love how it's kind of, kind of become a thing, you know, as opposed to just like, it's a big meme. Well, not a big meme, but it's a, it's a decent meme. It's not just like a passing statement. It's, it's become a joke of this thing and people, they've, they've liked it. They've gone along with it. I think that's been really fun. But yeah, that's where it started. It's a good explanation too. I don't know if I want any more bridges anywhere else. Should start thinking about that. Yeah, this path looks pretty nice, actually. Actually, maybe not. I don't know, it looks different down here. What do you guys think? Because maybe it would be better to have, like, the stone path. I think I'd rather have, like, one of these two here. Don't remember the progress joke? Yeah. Yeah, that was something. It's definitely a thing. Because I'll have to redo all of this. I do think we need to axe the, uh, the progress emotes, though. They take up so much emote room. There are more emotes I want to think of. I'd like to make a, a Fred emote. That'd be kind of fun. Just have, like, a balloon <laughs> that says Fred on it. Like, no one would know. Although, I guess if we're not doing Animal Crossing as much, maybe it wouldn't be... I, I Maybe I would have missed the boat on that one. But well, we need some fresh emotes anyway. That's the Mara float one. Yeah. And this is looking nice. Like it. Then we need to move Xerneas out of the way now. Do I have room? Actually, I do. Okay. Looks so weird without it now. I forgot about oranges. I mean, we haven't really had them in a long time. Well, it's fine. There's there's a lot more I need to focus on. I do think having something representing, like, gift subs, cheers, that'd be a nice thing. Something you can spam when people do that. It's only in a good laughing emote, too. There we go. Alright, so now we have this nice, long path that I can just run across. This is where I can hatch all my eggs. Hey, how's it going, Shari? So I heard someone else call you a shmoopy, and I was like, that's too good not to use. Oh, fine, if you want. For serious, you weirdo. Wow, thanks, Shmoopy. I feel like Shari would 
do that. Oh, man. Okay, anyway. Before everyone calls me schmoopy. Yeah, we don't have a laughing emote. All right, so. Oh, I... Uh, where does this connect? This is... Oh, yeah, we definitely need to have a path going here. This is a big, big hub. We have a clickbait emote? We do. Oh, where are you running? Where's he going? Oh, he really wanted to see that grasshopper. <laughs> Man, he is so, like, interested in everything. He's always seeing what's going on. Like, he, he will just check everything out. He's super curious. All right, so I like how this whole path thing is coming along now. Take a look here. Yeah, that's a nice little network. Actually, that's looking really darn good. I think the only thing we need, we need something from that path up at B3, going down onto C3, like by the, the incline there. I don't know where I wanted to go. That's the problem. But having that connect somewhere would be pretty nice. Otherwise, I don't know. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's up there now. Man, you ran off, pal. Jinx, you owe me some hot cocoa. Wait, what? Must have been a lot of work building all those scenic cliffs the other day, huh? Let me tell you, this goat definitely appreciates the view. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Yeah, we have, uh, I did get all the flowers up there, which was really important because otherwise, I was just thinking of a fossil spawn there, how bad that would be. That'd be terrible. All right, uh, so. Nice to have flowers, like, along here. I was thinking of bringing this fence, maybe having one, like, a little bit around here. And having flowers for the rest of it. Aww. <laughs> I don't think we talked to Claude. Hey, Devin, thanks for saying hi. Oh, you're welcome. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable, too. Hardly a food stain on me today. I mean, you're food right now. You're, you're literally wearing food. That is... That is your look. Island togetherness. Oh, there we go. Uh, 30. Talked with all of my, uh... All my residents, 30 days now. Ludicrously popular it guy and it girl. What? It guy. It's Fred. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, okay, it's fine. Hand flute. I already have that. Let me just double check. I already know. There we go! What was that? It sounded like someone just sneezed. Oh, he just cast his fishing rod. That's what it was. What's the difference between the colorful slingshot and the regular one? You buy the colorful one. Otherwise, I think they have the same durability. You don't have to craft it. Lazy and I have money, so I just buy it. There's also, like, outdoorsy ones and a few other different kinds. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. All right, let's see. Yeah, so we have this nice area now. This is really good. 
like 1600 bells more for no benefit but appearance. Oh yeah, I guess there isn't a basic slingshot, is there? I didn't think about that. I was thinking of the, uh... Oh, whoops. Of the tools here. Huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe it has more durability. Maybe it just looks fancier. I guess it would probably make sense to buy the normal slingshot then, wouldn't it? Benefit is that it doesn't eat into crafting materials. Yeah, but the point that was being made is you can buy the normal slingshot. How's it going, book fan? Alright, see ya, cold evoker. Have I played Journey's End yet? I have. Playing it with some friends. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I didn't really think about this. I feel like it actually lasted the same amount of time, to be honest. All right, let's do a test. Let's do a test. I'm curious. We're going to test this in the name of science. Because I haven't used this one yet. Are you all ready to count with Maryland? We've done this before. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 62, 3, 4, 65, 66, 7, 68, 69, nice, 70. You know, maybe this doesn't, doesn't add to durability if you miss. I didn't think about that. <laughs> What's going on? We're testing uh, the outdoorsy slingshot versus the normal one. But I guess if durability doesn't deplete if you miss, then we can't really easily test it. Well, I mean, I guess if you miss and it doesn't deplete, then it doesn't really matter. Durabil ugh, durability doesn't decrease unless you hit balloons. Okay. Well, that's kind of good to know. But then that means it's going to be impossible, really, for us to count, keep track of it. So, I don't know, I'll just buy the colorful. Oh, they're just sitting up in the sky. Oh, that's cute. Huh, well, I mean, I guess, hopefully she doesn't get mad. There we go. Uh, Shmoopy, I know this is like totally sudden, but I need to get rid of something quick. Want to buy my beach chair? Did you just take this from the beach? Much. Uh, it's old. Gosh, thank you. Welcome. You can't customize the normal slingshot? I'm pretty sure you can customize the colorful one. Or outdoorsy one. 
All right, let's set this thing up. Guess that's not it. Well, that's nice. Have we checked Able Sisters? Yeah, it wasn't really very impressive. Oh man, I feel so much better about missing now because I miss pretty often with uh, those. That was a loud sound, what the heck? I don't think Sam sounds like that. Her eyes. Oh man. That was funny. Alright, just because we're all curious about this. Let's see how they look. Now, this isn't a colorful slingshot, it's an outdoorsy one. I need to put crafting stations around town, too. Because right now I only have the one that's in my house. Oh, this is so much nicer being able to run. Like, without cutting through everything. My house is still pretty far away, but... It's fine. I need to do some decorating outside of my house, too. Oh yeah, I guess there was one in Town Hall. Whoops. That's fine. Actually, wait, I don't want to craft. I want to customize. Alright, so this is what the normal one can be customized with. Basically just change the uh, color of the things. But really basic. And this one... I guess kind of same story. <laughs> But that's for outdoorsy, like, maybe the colorful one is better. I don't know. It's probably... Probably just the, uh... Just aesthetics. Like, if you like the look of one, go for it. But that is a good point. Maybe I'll start doing that in the future. Just buying the normal one. Alright, well anyway that's actually going to do it for today so hopefully tomorrow morning at 11 a.m central time we should have the uh, pokemon sword and shield community raid hour i didn't do it last week because i was feeling a little bit under the weather and i was also up late like recording a five hour video or something so that was kind of a pain but yeah um yeah it's evolutions that's the theme so, hopefully you'll tune in for that and have a good time. I think that ought to be pretty fun. Hopefully. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow for that stream, and then Thursday for some more Animal Crossing. And again, we're probably gonna wrap up the daily streams on Saturday. That'll be kind of like the soft finale for the series. But we'll still check in from time to time, too. I think that'll be fun. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, everyone.